I recently decided that I wanted to start doing daily vlogs and there's a couple reasons for that. Um, sometimes life really gets in the way and it's a lot easier to put your passions and your career goals on the back burner and sometimes you definitely have to do that while you take care of stuff. But I know for myself, I am definitely happiest when I'm making something and then sharing it with other people. And so I thought it would be a really awesome challenge for me to share what I'm doing every day that's keeping me in the mind focus of working towards my ultimate goal, which is to be a really great painter. And so I want to try and show the daily progress on how I'm getting there and whether that's been sharing um, my sketches for learning the technique of painting and drawing that are kind of completed in one day, or if it's the daily progress of longer projects. And the other reason why I really wanted to do this is because I wanted to make diary type entries that um, anyone can access for free. Because I know that when I was younger, I didn't really know how to go about being a painter, or more so, um, I didn't really know how to learn the techniques of painting and drawing. And so I want to show at least one path on how someone's doing that. And then I should also say that these are daily-ish vlogs um, because I think I have about six now in my vlog playlist and they're not all consecutive days. There's some gaps in between them. And I'm definitely making something every day and I'm filming it. But if, it, if I feel like there isn't a narrative going through it or if it's too piecemeal or too random or just not good, I don't want to post it because I don't want to waste anyone's time. But I'm also new to this vlogging thing so I'm sure with more practice with it, I'll get better at it. And then lastly, I don't know how sustainable this is going to be. I definitely have time to do this over the summer, but when school starts up, I don't know if it will make sense to make daily vlogs. I might go back to what I did last, um, last year where I did, at the end of each week, I made a video sharing what I learned at the Atelier. And so if you want to check those out, I have a playlist called Atelier Diary. Okay, so for this entry, I'm going to be studying from my Vanderpool book. So I've been working on this self-portrait, and um, I was working on it yesterday, and I ended up erasing almost everything. I am so frustrated with it, so I'm going to be studying the chapter in Vanderpool of the head. And I love Vanderpool's style. You can see it's all the forms are really strong, but also super delicate. And I think it's so beautiful, his technique. So I'm gonna go through this, read what he has to say. He has a ton of pictures in the margins of examples, and I'm going to copy most of them, if not all of them, whatever I have time for today with um, in between doing my Sunday chores to get ready for the week. But I think drawing is like anything. If you wanna get better at it, you just gotta practice more and more and more. Okay, copying a couple of his sketches and then reading through the section on the head, Vanderpool talks about um, starting with the big shape, which is what I talk about all the time, but also then finding the big planes and saying that that is more important in telling of the person than the features. So once you get the big planes looking like the person, then fitting the features inside those. And I think that's where I was going wrong with my self-portrait, because I think I was working with the features first before thinking about planes. So I just started another one, this one right here. So I will show little clips of myself drawing this one. So I'm sketching out the planes and the shapes that make up the face trying to keep everything in the big shape and when I first start to complicate the form and go into smaller shapes I'm starting with the forehead. And so now that I have markings down I can really see what I need to correct. And so once I get to a stage like this where I know that I need to make corrections I like to roll a kneaded eraser like this and I'll roll it over the drawing which will lighten up all the pencil marks so then I can go back over it pretty easily to make corrections with um, still being able to see the lines that I've already made. <laughs> 